Like I know, I know, this is your car, and you're impossible, right? So you gotta probably buy your own car, right? Right. Welcome back, folks. This video takes place in Trinidad, Pennsylvania, and it involves a former Pennsylvania constable, Constable Wiggs. Now this involves the Pennsylvania State Police Department, and it sounds like the trooper wants to establish his authority over another department. The state trooper is going to talk to the constable, and he's going to tell them that the constable's car cannot have red and blue lights. The original video was published on December 30th, 2021, and the acting commissioner of the Pennsylvania State Police is Robert Ivanchik. You guys check out this encounter. I'm going to drop the link for the original channel in the description and in the pinned comment, folks. Let's get right to the video. Oh. Thanks for stopping. Oh, man, I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Dude, you know, when I rolled up, it was where it was when you guys seen it. Yeah. Man, I just maintained that you guys got here, man. And All right. Awesome. You know. Awesome. So, man, thank you. You don't need me. No. Nah. Uh, nah, I just got a couple questions for you, that's all. Yeah, yeah thank yeah, you. Yeah, we're good. Mr. Wiggs, right? Yeah. All right, awesome. All right, so I just want to let you know, you're a constable, right? Right. I know it's elected and all that. Um, just want to give you a heads up. The red and blues don't meet the definition for Title 75 and everything for the emergency vehicle. All right. I just got to give you a heads up. I just want to tell you. We, uh, we, you know we've been through that already, right? I'm well aware. However, that's what the definition says. I mean, uh, we've been through that it, directly right. with your direct barracks. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, yeah. You know several barracks, actually. I know. The only problem right. is, it, it, so, you'll get it in a lot of, like, it's not worth the hassle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I know this is your car, and you're a constable, right? So you got to probably buy your own car, right? Right. So, that being said, in Pennsylvania, the constable can't have red and blue lights. And I'm, I'm sure you probably bought this with the lights on it. And I'm not, like, here to dispute it with you. I, it's just not worth you getting in trouble over it. You know, we... It's not that I, I'm, I'm we, saying you're less of a person. Your job is not important. I'm just saying that the PA state law, like... So, I mean, I know you guys have a, a different element to what police is. No, 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 no. The, the, the law, the right. law that we we'll, be, we'll be with you. We'll be right with you. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. The, the law across the board in Pennsylvania is the same. Like, you're a PA constable, right? Right. It's the same, it's the same rules. It's the same uh, rules but, that it, you got. Okay, so the same laws apply to the fact that by the definition of what a police officer is, constable's fit. Yes, so a constabulary is different than a state trooper. And it's different than a cop in Philadelphia. It's different rules for everything. Like uh, like a parole officer. They're still an officer. It, it, so it's basically, different rules. a constable doesn't fit the full definition of a police officer. That's why everything's marked constable and not police. Okay? You know, we, we've because seen... You, you don't have full police authority or power. Okay? You know, we, we've because seen... You, you don't have full police authority or power. Who, so where you, where are you guys getting that information from? Where? Title because 18 we, of the, of the Title Fox 18 Code and Title 75. So under Title 18, like where, I said, I appreciate you stopping and everything. I'm, I'm just informing you. Of what? Okay. Of just the lights. Well, so you. like, literally on your vest it says police, right? Yeah. Because we're police officers of the state. That's the thing. So we're actually state troopers. Okay. You're a, you're a Pennsylvania state constable. Before troopers. There were constables. Yes. Yeah, your not, agents, your, your yeah. agency were called constables before it became troopers. Mm -hmm. I don't right. know if you know your history. Yeah, and your own agency. No, no, no. I'm not saying you're wrong, but no, 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 no. changed since then. Uh, I don't write the law. Trust me, man. I, it's just. But well, we're talking history here yeah, of yeah. the agency, yeah. right? Okay. Okay. So currently, still today. Yes. The constables is recognized under Pennsylvania law as police officers and different, many different uh, elements here. Not under, not only under federal case law, but state law. So, well, the problem is if a, a constabulary. Like when you got when you got sworn in as a constable, you're a constabulary officer. It's not, it's not a police officer. And the problem is when you put police. That's the word. It's, it's seriously. That's you, what it's all about. You, is the word police. Wait, you know police. Is a general law enforcement term, right? No, no, no. Yes, it, yes, no. yes, it is. Officer, officer yeah. is the general term. So, it's when we talk about a peace officer yes. or a police officer, 
we recognize us all, all three, police officer, peace officer, as well as you. You recognize us peace officers too. No, it's, it's, right. it, yes, well, yes. Pennsylvania State Police Officers. No, no, no. Pennsylvania State Peace Officers. But, but that's what you're called. That's your title. Okay? That's yes. your title. But your very being, yes. you're still peace officers of the state, yeah. too. Right. Yeah. Now, Just like everybody else. Here's, here's, here's the deal, okay? So, look, we appreciate you stopping, all right? So I understand you stopped, public safety, all that stuff. Okay? So, let me finish. All right? I understand you stopped, public safety, and everything. A constable doesn't meet the, the burden for an emergency vehicle, okay? You can't have that's, a red and that's, not, that's not true, bro. That's not the that's not, arrest We've policy. already been not, through this, look, bro. I'm not here no, to argue. No, I'm not down the U.P. I'm not here no, to argue. So, wait a minute. It doesn't meet the burden. All right. Why, why are we and, doing this? And right also, here. we're doing this because we Just, actually have to do it. We have to. Why? Because under Title eight, like, so we're Pennsylvania State police officers, right? So it's our job to enforce the law. So if as you, well as mine. Exactly. Yes. But in you are you're currently with the red and blue lights on your car in violation of the How would I be in violation? Scoring. Because you're not allowed to have so this is an emergency vehicle, right? Well it's represented. Is it, is it, as is it, is it, it is. an emergency vehicle? Okay. Right, so if it's an emergency vehicle and it has red and blue lights, you have to have the Pennsylvania State Police has to issue you a form. That you're approved to have red and blue lights on your vehicle, and it has to be registered as an emergency vehicle. Wait a minute. Well, hold on. Is your car registered as an emergency vehicle? Just in the future, make sure everything you wear doesn't say police. Make sure it represents you as a constable, not as a police officer. Constables are police officers. They do not have full police power. We have criminal investigating authority. Yes, I'm not saying Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. That's what we do. So that, here's the deal. I, mean, I already have all your information. That's why there's this. I thing. already have all your information pulled up. Okay, you're free to go. If we need to contact you, I'll be in contact. Wait a minute. Okay. So you guys do know under the same Title 75, we're authorized to conduct traffic control no matter if it's an emergency or non-emergency, right? Yes, but under Title 75, this is an emergency vehicle. And constables are listed. Uh, uh, peace officers are listed as first responders as yes, well. But the emergency vehicle distinction, the police officer distinction are totally different. These, our vehicles, uh have to be uh, maintained under the guidelines of the state. Yes. You know, so we're, we're, we're yes. forced to make sure that we have cages and our, okay. our vehicles are equipped and in the same condition as any other uh, 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 law enforcement officer. Yes. You know, yes. So if, if, if this is the case here for us, you know, where we got to maintain our vehicles, no, well, no different than you yes. guys got to maintain. Like, <laughs> Well, so basically, you guys are holding us accountable to the fact that we are forced to put these vehicles in our names because we're not a tax-funded agency. This is why that's this situation has been going on. That's that. I mean, okay. honestly, so, look, a obviously, we're just talking in circles here, that, okay? We have control just, of the scene now, Yeah. all right? You're no longer needed for public safety in any capacity, mm -hmm. all right? If I need to get in contact with you, I'll get in contact with you. All right, I'm going to ask that you please leave my scene now, okay? No, okay. Well, I, I'm, uh, not, I'm not, you know. No, no, look, I, I, you know, I appreciate having the open, honest discussion with you. Yeah. All right. We just it, had to come talk. It's, to it's good to talk yeah. to you. Yeah. The last time I, I met you was probably three, four years ago. All right. It's been a while. Maybe a little bit sooner than that, but my memory, I'm pulling that number off the top of my head. It's been a while. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, and briefly at that. All right. Okay. All no, right. I, I, I appreciate I, I just, you guys stopping just in. Get, just get home safe. Out. All right, yeah. thank you for stopping. No, I, no, I appreciate right. everything you do. Uh, I, I'm not this would be appreciated. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this, this would have been a mess if you didn't stop. So yeah. I appreciate that. We're not, yeah. we're not trying to give you a hard time. Yeah. We're just having an open discussion with you at this point, all right? So. No, I got it. I got it, man. I'm good. Covered, okay. right? When you get in contact with you. Well, I was just checking up with the other guy. All right. And yeah. like I said, I appreciate you stopping help with traffic. I appreciate you guys. All right. Thank you, man. Safe, all right? You got a problem. Yeah, you too, man. All right, folks. Before I let you go, I want to read a couple comments that were left on his video. Patrick Moore writes, Under Pennsylvania law, constables are public officers elected or appointed to their positions in accordance with the laws of elections. 
A constable is a sworn law enforcement slash peace officer that can arrest for felony crimes and breaches of the peace committed in his presence or by warrant anywhere in the Commonwealth. And former Pennsylvania Constable Wiggs replies with, and that's a mere fraction of what our authority is. And I'd like to ask former Pennsylvania Constable Wiggs, what authority are you talking about? Because if I'm not mistaken, the people have authority over themselves until a crime has been committed. I think that's important to consider before we speak out of turn. You know, folks, there is way too much ambiguity in Title 75. Even the PCCD has a handout that says, Under the applicable statutes, constable vehicles are not considered emergency vehicles and are not exempt from lighting and equipment standards. However, I can't find anything that directly states constables can or can't. It would be a real toss-up in court depending on how good your lawyer is and how the judge feels. Right now, House Bill 914 has been introduced to amend Title 18. It is focused on impersonating public servants, which includes officers. The definition of law enforcement officer in the bill includes constables. Right now, there are just too many gray areas. There is no need for these troopers to be arrogant asshats. They could have been much more cordial and thankful. They could have merely suggested you consult with the legal expert. Troopers like these guys who just want to have a pissing contest need to rethink their line of work. Sheriffs are elected and are specifically called out in Title 75 as being exempt. The whole we must enforce all laws is BS, especially when they're the ones breaking all of them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell because we'll see you on the next video. Peace.